Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And boy, that was quick. Yeah. Now, I really didn't pay much attention to this one. I saw it, but I was like, eh. Why the Last Man has already been canceled. It was on uh, FX on Hulu. So this is a, a Disney a Disney show, weirdly enough, but it's based on a very popular award-winning comic book series from the uh, early 2000s. Oh, right? that's why it won awards, because it was only 2000s. Yeah, but, you know, current year, the concept of, uh, you know, this plague killing uh, everybody, but except, say, for one guy, is problematic. The show had sort of uh, turned into uh, commentary on gender identity, and, uh, you know, I, I don't think it did very well. Obviously, they canceled it after three or four episodes. Uh, they're still going to dump the rest of, of the first season. But now the showrunner is trying to shop it around to another another network, another streaming service. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Now, you know, to be fair, HBO might pick it up because it is based on a DC Comics property. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a lot of people well, just didn't, weren't feeling it. Yeah, based. Based. Yeah. Based. Uh, the show was not as based as people would have, have liked. So we're going to talk about that. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, uh, over 237,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. And why The Last Man was basically DOA. I mean, I, I can't remember the last time I've seen a show canceled this quickly. I'm just going to be honest here. I didn't read the comic, nor did I give two shits about the show. However, Neon has read the comic. Years yeah. ago. Years ago. Uh, I did read the first couple of volumes. I kind of checked out after a while. I mean, it was a really cool concept. Uh, it was very, very popular. So you'd think, you know, if they were going to adapt it for television, that they would uh, stick with the, the formula, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, we can't do that because it's current year. And look, I'm not saying this had anything to do with the cancellation of this show, but they did veer into uh, gender identity because you can't have a show about... Uh, there being a last man if the definition of what a man is in current year has changed. Right. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, part of the issue here, I think. But uh, Brian K. Vaughn, the writer of the comic book series, and I guess he's a producer on the show, put this up on Instagram uh, when it was announced. Uh, we have learned that we will not be moving forward with FX on Hulu for season two of Why the Last Man. I've never in my life been more committed to a story and there is so much more left to tell. Why the Last Man is about gender, about how oppressive systems inform whoa, identity. Whoa. Is that what it was originally? Not really, no. Uh, we had a gender diverse team of brilliant art. Oh, God. Time to get out the little violins, the tiny violins, right? Led by women at almost every corner oh, of the Oh, yeah, that's right. Because don't you know, guys, that basically by diversity, they just mean women. Producers, writers, directors, cinematographers, production design, costume design, stunt coordination, and more. It is the most collaborative, creative, fulfilling, and beautiful thing I've ever been a part of. We don't want it to end. Can I just say something real quick? I am really, really, really tired of Hollywood thinking diversity just means women. That, that's pretty much what it means is women. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there, there was a uh, uh, study put out the other day. It was on Cartoon Brew talking about how Cartoon Network is leading the way in the on-screen diversity push, and it's mostly talking about... Women. 54% of protagonists are female. Uh, let me look here. 58% of the color the protagonists of color are female. 36% uh, of characters are women, up from 34%. Um, they're going on about some LGBTQ plus representation, but it's mostly about women. Warner's global workforce is 54% male, unchanged from 2018. Well, to me, when it's 54% and it's almost 50-50, I don't see what the big deal is. Oh, right, it has to be 54% female, and then it's fair. Um, they're talking about different things, but mostly it's about, oh, 58% is white, down from 61%. Uh, Asian, but here's the problem. Asian Americans uh, make up 12% of the company, as do black staff. Hispanics, I'm not going to use the other word because they keep telling you they don't like it. Workers make up 11%. You know, that's another thing. Why the hell when people keep telling you they don't like these this word, people that, that actually are represented by the, the word you're trying to label them with, why the hell do you keep using it when people keep telling you they don't like it? 
Like, you don't use other vulgar words to call other uh, races of people by those names because they told you they don't effing like it. But for whatever reason, the white Karens in Hollywood have decided, and it's Karens because diversity, have decided that we have to call people that are Latino that word, Hispanic, that word. That word. Even though they've asked you repeatedly to not do it because they find it offensive. Sorry, that was my side rant. I'm just so tired of it. It's absolute bullshit. Anyway, uh, why the last man I think was kind of doomed from the start, given the, the concept. And I remember when they announced it, I'm like, this is not going to play well. I rolled my eyes and then turned away and they never went back to it. Yeah, I mean, the whole the whole plot is there's one man left on Earth. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. There's more than one man left on Earth. Well, yeah, they changed it. They changed it. Now there is a trans man, uh, a new no, character. No, a trans woman. Uh, no, a trans man. So showrunner Eliza Clark broke the news on Twitter. Again, I'm shocked at how quickly this was canceled. It premiered on September 13th. We're talking a little over a month. We're talking like three or four episodes are dropped, apparently. And it's it's freaking done. It's just done. Um, so I think Disney took a look at it and they're even like, yeah, there's no way we can make this work. Mm -hmm. It's on any level. It's not going to work. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how diverse and in inclusive you try to make the show. Uh, if it doesn't bring viewers and really they needed to strike when the iron was hot, like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. when people were reading this comic, now nobody gives a shit. Well, I think too. The timing isn't necessarily a good idea with what's going on in the world. People are already afraid of different things that are happening. And the whole idea that something wipes out all the men. Yeah, almost it's a all plague. The men, it's a plague. Right. It's kind yeah. of probably not a good idea to, to do right now, especially when people worried. Like, I'd be worried about my son and my husband. Um, you know, contrary to what Twitter tells you, there are a lot of men who are very much loved in the world. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing too. They never really go, I, I, as I understand it in the comic, they never really resolved why the plague happened. They had a lot of theories, but one of the theories was it was a weapon against China. And another theory was that they were trying to stop people from reproducing. And so... Yeah, you don't want to use those right now. Right now, yeah. So that that could play into it. You're right. I hadn't even thought about that. But I I'm mean, like, I'm yeah. thinking, it's, it, I don't know why they would have, unless it was greenlit way before COVID... I don't know it why was, yeah. I don't know why they would have they would have put this out there right now. I really don't. So we read what Brian K. Vaughn said. Uh, Clark said FX has been an amazing partner. We have loved working with them, and we're sad why the last man is not going forward at FX on Hulu. But we know that someone else is going to be very lucky to have this team in this story. Uh, good no. luck. I never experienced the remarkable solidarity of this many talented people. We're committed to finding Wyatt's next home. Uh, we're committed to it. And they have a hashtag, why lives on. Um, what are like all 10 people who like it going to tweet it? Well, that's the thing. Um, so, you know, we've talked about hashtags being manipulated. Yes. Uh, by a very small. Yeah, we see it often. Like there's like, a, like you know, a small group of people who have like 100 alt accounts each yep. trying to make it seem like it's bigger than it is. Yeah. Now we see, you know, Sonic stuff gets manipulated and whatever. And they figured out how to get, since, you know, a lot of these people spend their entire lives on Twitter they know the ins and outs of how it works. You can even hire people in places like probably in China. They'll go and do what you want. You just tell them what you want it to say, and they'll just make sure it happens with alt accounts and everything else. Yeah. So, um, you know, they go on about how current year politics are informing gender. This is coming from this is coming from Clark. This is coming from a scientist. No, she's a showrunner of a show. Oh, 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 right. Okay, so. A show about. But leave the uh, science that she says is a science yeah. when she runs shows. Uh, okay. Gender is diverse and chromosomes are not equal to gender. And so in our world, in the world of the television show, every living mammal with a Y chromosome dies. That's absolutely horrendous. Tragically, that includes many women. It includes non-binary people. It includes intersex people. Clark assures that wise creators are making a show that affirms that trans women are women, trans men are men, and non-binary people are non-binary. And that is part of the richness of the world. If they were doing the that, then why'd they have them all die even if they identify as... How how can you make this show current year with the climate in Hollywood? I'm just saying. A new character, a trans man named Sam Jordan, was created specifically to drive the point home. Uh, Jordan did not exist in the comics. Oh, surprise. It made, so they made up a new character just to push this narrative. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Screen Rant did a whole article about this new character. And it was right that we have this character because it was worrisome and problematic that uh, more trans people weren't, uh, um, you know, represented in the comic book that's 20 years old. Um, so there, look, here's the thing. There is no way 
to do this show. But what about that what's her name who had the, the book about the, the, the bleeding you turned into monsters or whatever? Oh, she got canceled. And she yeah. got canceled because yeah. in her story, um, some women didn't transform because they would have had not have had the correct chromosome. They wouldn't have menstruated. It's only if you menstruate. Combination. Um, they couldn't turn in. Well, there's some women who the, you know can't because they've had surgeries or whatever. But she got canceled for that because it was against yes, you know, certain people and how dare you. But then this is allowed. So they canceled the woman, but allowed the story by a man. I thought you're all about diversity, which just means women. I am so confused right now. There is no way you can put this show this show out there, make it comic book accurate, and current year Hollywood. There's I don't see how you can put the show out there just period because <laughs> no pun intended. I know because it's going to it, it's you're you're running into too many trouble. You've canceled people who've done something similar before. You you get mad and call everybody else names who call out other things about the show before. You can't win. This is like literally a show that's gonna piss off everyone and appease very few people. Yep. Um yeah, because comic fans are gonna be pissed because you're taking liberties and uh cancel culture, Twitter outrage mobs are gonna be pissed because they're like, Well, what's your definition of who a man is? So yeah, there was no way there's no way to win this one. So I have I have to think that Disney internally is like, Yeah, let's just let's just pull the plug on. So this. basically, basically it's saying that scientifically, even if you identify as non binary trans or whatever it still killed you if you had a white chromosome because yeah there's two combinations yeah i i can't even there's so much here my head is going boom yeah they're, they're trying and i know they had to do a lot of damage control oh when they my god it, the whole way like, around i'm just like how the hell did they get this through so they're like how could you do how could you do this current year now when this show was you know option picked up greenlit uh, a lot of the conversations that they're having now uh, were not being had. Even then, I don't see how they got away with it. Because this would have been the green lit, like, in the last six or seven years. Um, the original comic, okay, at the time, I can see it. Was it was 2002. At that, yeah, I it came can out, see. like, ages ago. But yeah. this show, I'm like, you're just going to piss everyone off. That's probably why it got that and nobody gave a shit. Oh I, think, I think really, at the end of the day, like, <laughs> yeah. look, Netflix has proven... Netflix has proven that you can you can be quote unquote problematic or controversial, but if you're bringing views, you get to stay. I think they took a look at this show and they're like, nobody gives a shit because the people that would have given the biggest shit, the master turd. <laughs> you're allowed okay. to say master. <laughs> that implies well, I'm saying that are slave turds. But, but I'm saying I'm saying he is shit. So right. you know. Anyway. Uh, the people who would have cared would have been fans of the comic and they've rewritten the comic and they're trying real hard to appease Twitter and it's a show for nobody. Here's an idea, Hollywood. Mind blowing, I know. How about you just make good stuff and don't listen to Twitter? That's how, what? I mean, you want to make money, right? You want people to stop complaining all the time, right? Well, you'll still get complaints. Um, you want to stop being harassed by shippers, right? Just stop <laughs> catering to Twitter. But the show, oh my God. So they made changes from the original to be more current year. Yes. But those current year changes, or everybody's having a fit about because it's all, it's problematic by their definitions now yeah. of male female because it goes by the what would I would I would guess would be the scientific explanation of why people are male or female by yeah. chromosomes. And that's you can't have that now. You can't do that current year. You can't. You can't do. So that. believe the science, unless it's the science about this. And yeah. then wait, no, they're believing the science. I'm confused. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the show canceled in record record oh time. God. The only other show I can think of comic Ooh. adaptation that got canceled this quickly uh, was that one on on uh, Sci Fi, the one that uh, Mags Visaggio. Oh did. yeah, what was that, that called? I don't even remember what it was called. Fuck, I don't even remember. I don't. I didn't watch Vagrant it. Queen was. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Wasn't Vagrant it? Vagrant Queen. Yeah, it was like two or three weeks, and they're like, "Yeah, we're done. We're done here." So you know, there it is. Maybe I'll get picked up someplace else. Either way, I really don't care. I'm not going to watch this show. It's just not the kind of show I'd I watch. I forgot anyway. it was even on. Um, even I though know. by diversity that just means me, <laughs> because diversity just means women. I I. Was curious when they announced it, and then when I started to read all the tweets and the, I'm like, we're gonna make it more diverse. I'm like, 
Well, there goes that. So anyway, they're trying to get people to, to pick it up. Now, the only the only network that might touch it would be HBO because it is, again, a DC Comics thing. So they might pick it up. It might not be completely done yet. But yeah, again, it's it's like this is a show for nobody at this point. Hey, you know, if men are from Mars and women are from Venus, where are non-binary people from? Don't. You can't say that. <laughs> Do you know where I'm going to be from? Hmm. You know where I'm going to say where are you from? Uranus. <laughs> I'm tired. Wow. Look at, but look at the, even, be, <laughs> even beyond the gender politics, right? Stopped after three episodes. So bad. They managed to create a series with not one single character. We want to follow. Wow. Uh, great concept. Waste of time. Um, I don't, I remember the comic being mind blowing a read. You couldn't put down. The show seems to be filled with filler and close to nothing in the comic words of advice. Read the graphic novel and skip this. Um, why, why the last man is wildly, insanely sexist. So all men disappear and suddenly we're living in a dystopia with no water, no power, no food, and absolutely abject poverty That's and chaos. That's a good point. It's beyond belief that this attitude still exists anywhere. In the fantasies of many women, the men all disappear and well, well, I don't know what, what, wait, 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 what women are wishing men would disappear? Some days, So wait, do. in the fantasy, no, I don't. <laughs> so in the fantasies of this woman who's probably a lesbian, she wishes all men would disappear. Yep. Um, the world improves if men are gone, which brings me to one of the earlier proclamations. Wait, so this whole thing is about why men why men should disappear, the world's better? Yep. Well, Shelly. Cities are no longer sexist, running aren't cold. you? The show is the show has created a world full of hapless women, cities that cannot function without men, a world that is nowhere without its men. It's unbelievable due to that idea, not all the idea that men could suddenly drop decks except for one guy. The show gets two stars only because I've watched three episodes that might improve. Uh, you know what? Here's Shelly too. I gotta point out this one thing. Uh, the ninety five percent of the world would want the men to be there. Well, I guess it'd be half of that. So well no, the men will be there too. So I guess that's still accurate. Yeah, I think I think um, most of us would want to be there. So I don't want to tell you there. <laughs> the premise sounded good. I don't know the original source material, but in a very short time, it was obvious that it must have been written by a man. Oh my God, this is... So in funny. reality, governments with highest women in power are statistically more humanitarian, less aggressive, more socialized, and equality is more promoted. Not always, but okay. Oh God. How do you create the most annoying, stupid, nonsensical protagonist in all of television? <laughs> Too much gender politics. My wife and I were excited at the show, but we gave up halfway through the first episode. It was hard to watch. I didn't even get to the first one because I don't give enough shit to watch it. Well, this is it. This is what you know, you were talking about. More doom and gloom. If you want to feel even more shitty than real life, watch this. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's just um, a wrong period of time for so many reasons. I don't really care to read it anymore. I don't care. Ruined a great comic. Um, basically, we got you know a bunch of people all over the place. Shelley wishes men were all dead. <laughs> um, and, and you know what? If men were all dead, how, I don't know how old Shelly was, but, you know, a year ahead of her age, if men were all dead, she wouldn't be here. There's that. Um, well, the con they clone. They can clone people. But that's not so, the same thing. You're just no. a clone of somebody. Yeah, you're just a You're not off. even your own person. <sighs> anyway. Uh, yeah, another one bites the dust. Who cares? Time yeah, who cares? You, who cares sums it up greatly. Okay. All right. Why are we talking However, about why? I was why? vastly entertained for the last, like, 15, 20 minutes, how long this was. It was worth it for me just for the entertainment value alone. I am very amused right now. It's too woke. It's too woke. Well, somehow it's too woke and not woken up at the same time. How many apocalyptic shows with backstories do we need? You know, it's too woke but not woken up at the same time sounds like <laughs> our channel. We get accused of that yeah, all right. the damn time. Too woke but not woke enough. Yeah, we get one side, everybody's like, oh, you're, they're too far left. And then the other side's like, but they're, you know, oh, they're they're not left enough. It's just... Pick a side, you clowns. We're like a wedgie. We want to be right in the middle. Right up your ass. Unless you have things. a hemorrhoid. Then it goes to one side or the other. But we prefer a, a hemorrhoid-free Uranus. <laughs> We are the, See, I told you I was from Uranus. We are we are the hemorrhoid of the internet. No, 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 because that, would, oh, that okay. would make us be one side or the other. The extremists of the hemorrhoids. We're trying to go right up the middle. Without lube. <laughs> uh we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Okay. Uh, for sure. He's gonna shut me up now. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.